Hey guys, so I'm on the train to go and see Leah. We're filming at a hotel called Coom Abbey, which we've been meaning to go to for the last three years. Uh, we were going to have a photo shoot there for our UK <coughs> channel uh, before COVID, and then COVID hit, so it got cancelled. So we're going there finally. We're not actually going for a photo shoot this time. We're going to create content. So yeah, I'm on the train. It's now two and a half hours to get to Leah in Coventry. Um, so I think I'm going to edit a video. I've also got some lines to learn. That is on Monday. I need to get that filmed this weekend. But yeah, it's a whirlwind trip. It's just um, today we're staying one night and then part of tomorrow and then I'm back up to Keegan's for a, a family event of his um, at the weekend and then I'll be back in London on Monday evening. The road trip doesn't stop. I've arrived at Birmingham, I think it's called New Street or something, and it looks like an airport. It's absolutely ginormous. I've got 20 minutes now, so I'm gonna go, it looks like there's some shopping through here or something. So I'm gonna go and have a look and see if I can get anything to eat. Oh, it seems like you can only go out there to the shops and everything if you haven't scanned your ticket in or something. I'm confused, I don't know where to go. I made it, this is where I wanted to come. Right, my fave sandwich. Got it. Got a, I've actually got a sandwich. It's 12 noon and I'm not arriving until one o'clock. I figured I'll have lunch now because me and Leah might not have lunch together. I don't know. Leah gets hungry like I do, so I doubt she'll be waiting for me for lunch. I'm not joking, guys. How much does this look like an airport? This is the biggest station I've ever been to. Oh, yay, the train's here waiting already. This is good. Right, that'll do. There's some space in there. Well guys, filming has finished. It is over 24 hours later and we've managed to do quite a lot of videos, maybe five or six for the UK channel. We did a live stream last night as well on the main channel. So yeah, very, very productive. We've been brainstorming as well. We've been having a long business meeting throughout the whole time discussing sort of businessy things and the future of our channels and things. So yeah, it's very exciting. I now have a four hour journey back home. So it should be about two and a half hours. So it should be about two trains and two and a half hours up to Keegan's. However, Keegan is not able to pick me up from the station anymore uh, due to schedule clashes. So I had the option of either paying about 40 pounds to get a taxi from the station to Keegan's or three pounds to get two more trains. However, it would take over an hour. It would take like an hour and a half to get back, but three pounds. And I'm like, you know what? Today, do I want to spend the time or the money? And I'm like, I'd rather spend the time. I, d I don't want to spend 40 pounds on a taxi. So yeah, it's only costing me an extra three quid, but it is prolonging my journey by quite a lot. And it's now four trains and a total of four hours. And that's not including a little walk home to Keegan's house. So uh, yeah. It's gonna be dark by the time I get to his. Right, another day, another trip to the train station to drop your beloved off. Yes, Keegan the chauffeur hearse. Keegan the chauffeur. That said, when I came back from filming with Leah, I did get, I added an extra hour and a half to my journey so that you didn't have to pick me up, so. Oh, you could have just got a taxi. I know, but that was gonna cost a fortune. I'm not made of money, Keegan. Anyway, Keegan's dropping me off at the station. Other than that 24 hours with Leah, I've spent over a week here. 10 days, 11 days with you. Is that all? Is that <laughs> all? And yeah, Keegan's now dropping me off at the station, but I'll be back again in three, four days time because we're going on holiday. We're going on our holidays. We're going on our holidays with my family. We're going to Holland or the Netherlands. I never know which one to call it, but we're going there with the whole fam. So that will be a baptism of fire for you. You had a baptism of fire with my family this weekend. I did, yeah, on Saturday uh, it was Keegan's aunt's wedding party. So they had a separate wedding to the party. So I think they got married a month ago, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah, I had a baptism of fire there with all of your fam. I met my mum. You met your mum, met everyone. Your uncle, your aunts, your nan. Well, I've met your nan before. Your nan is so lovely. I just spent the whole night with your nana. Yeah. And just we were just chatting about hip replacements. Joel's hip replacements. <laughs> my hip replacements. She's so cute. I love her so much. Um, and she's not even my nan. It's probably That's probably why though, because both my nans have died and I, I crave that relationship with an older lady. An old matriarch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm at the station just letting Ava have a quick sniff around on this artificial grass. She's done a wee. 
Um, our train's not for another 25 minutes, so we've got some time for her to have a sniff. Are you gonna do a poo? It's literally my worst nightmare to think of Ava, like, going to the toilet whilst on the train or something, which I don't think she ever would. Um, the nearest thing she did to that was at a train station where she just stopped and did a wee, because, bless her, I suppose the train station kind of seems like indoors, outdoors, like, which is it? She obviously thought it was more outdoors, so she did a wee, and I didn't have anything to soak it up, so I just had to walk away. It was, it was horrendous. Oh, she is doing a poo. Fantastic. Good girl. <laughs> Go on. Hey guys, so I am just walking home. I have my massive backpack on. Yeah, I decided to take a little detour on the way home. Ava deserves a reward after being on the train for over two hours. This is adding about 10, 15 minutes to my journey, but it's saving me about 50 minutes, which is fantastic because it means I don't have to leave the house again to give her a proper walk. Sadly, I don't have time, I think, for the gym today because it's about half past four. I need to get back, unpack, sort my life out because I haven't been home in nearly two weeks. And I need to go to Asda to do a grocery shop because I haven't got any food in the house. Yeah, and I have some branded work to do today as well. I am shattered, guys. I'm so tired. It's 1 p.m. in the afternoon and I'm just walking to the train station now because I'm going to have a meeting with my managers in central London near Soho. I've had a two-hour meeting this morning with my social media coach Laura who is incredible. Really helps me out a lot. I've just walked over, haven't eaten yet today. I think I'm going to do the same as I did yesterday which was not eat all day and just eat dinner because that really helped me make some progress. Um, but yeah, I will bring you with me into London. Right, I just stopped and grabbed a coffee. I'm at the train station. This hopefully will wake me up. I mean, it's half past one now. I don't normally have <laughs> a coffee this late. I need it. I slept really well last night. I don't, I don't feel like I need a sleep. I just feel tired, as in I've got a very big to-do list and I feel a bit overwhelmed. Please remember to take all your personal items with you when you leave the train. I'm actually early for my meeting for once. Normally I'm either bang on time or late, so that is good. But I actually have some clothes to return to Marks & Spencer and thankfully, well I've been meaning to return them for like three weeks. All the nearest Marks & Spencer from me are quite far, but it just so happens that my management's office is right opposite a Marks & Spencer. So that'll be a good job ticked off my list. All done, so that is good. That's say 45 quid. It was just a shirt that I bought two different ones for the Blogosphere Awards, and this is one I didn't end up using. So I was like, just return it, save the money. Guys, I have just finished my meeting, and I'm leaving with some sweets. They have pick a mix in their office, which is new, and so I was like, I have to have some before I leave. We had a really good meeting. It was actually about an hour and 20 minutes long. I was having mainly a meeting about like something potential coming up, I mean, it would take a while to work on, probably a year or more, so I won't tell you what it's about, because it might, it's very, very early days. Um, but yeah, it was exciting. Anyway, I was gonna go to the gym now, and my manager was like, what are you doing now, going to the gym? Because <laughs> I normally go to the gym. And I was like, I would love to go to the gym today, however, I don't have time, I have a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna go to the cafe now with my laptop, do a bit of work, and then head home, and I need to film a brand deal. Uh, and see Ava. Hi! Hello! <laughs> how are you? Good! So that was Edward, which I hadn't, when I put the camera down, and I was like, how are you? I actually saw in the viewfinder, so I get a little preview of what I'm filming above my camera, and I thought it was someone else that I knew, uh, called Daniel. And it wasn't Daniel, it was <laughs> Edward. Um, and his friend, it was lovely. So uh, we had a nice little catch up. Anyway, I need to find a cafe now. Right, let's go shopping. <laughs> Um, I'm actually just gonna head home now guys because it's quarter past four and if I hang around much longer by the time I go home it'll be rush hour and it will be hell on the train yeah I figured I'll get home earlier and do the work at home or I might get my laptop out on the train if it's quiet and send a few emails mm -hmm. 